Hello, Soul Family. Happy month of March and happy spring equinox to all of my beautiful light workers out there. Thank you for being here. If you are new to my platform, please take a moment to subscribe to receive all unlimited access to my episodes. To my returning Soul Family, thank you for listening and for all of your love and support. I greatly appreciate every one of you. Okay, so my new episode for today is our mission as a light worker and divine being of God. So what is a light worker and do you recognize yourself as being a divine conduit of spirit? Now a light worker is one who holds profound significance in this era of transformation. As a light worker emerges as radiant constellations, illuminating the path with their divine purpose, we are the cosmic conduits of love, compassion, and wisdom, and we are here to bring our light into the world to help guide the way for others. If you are a true humanitarian who enjoys helping others on their spiritual journey, or you work in the healing energy fields or psychic work, you are definitely being called to serve as a light worker in some way to our planet. Even if you are not in a specific healing career, you may be the person who is always the peacemaker in your family or giving guidance and advice to your family or friends. In 2024, lightworkers will be serving a very important service here. So we will be the beacons of hope, love, and anchors of serenity. The earth lightworkers are the weavers, threading strands of compassion, healing, and higher consciousness consciousness to the masses. They have the healing energy of the heartbeat of the universe that creates ripples that transcend boundaries of time and space. The mission of a light worker is really beyond personal growth. It is a sacred commitment to elevating the vibration of humanity. Lightworkers embody an unwavering dedication to truth as well as acts of kindness, healing energy, and purpose. The essence of this new era in 2024, the Aquarian Age, embodies the light workers standing in their truth as guardians of the light, inviting others to awaken their inner radiance. The influence will be subtle, transformative energy that will infuse into the collective consciousness unlocking the dormant potential within every soul. This is so powerful, you guys. Lightworkers, we have such an amazing presence and purpose here on planet Earth, and we have reincarnated at this time to really shift and change humanity. So lightworkers are catalysts for a global shift that will unite us in a harmonious symphony of love, compassion, and unity. Lightworkers are those that feel an enormous pull towards helping others. Some refer to them as crystal babies or indigos, earth angels, and star seeds. These spiritual volunteers act as a beacon for the earth and commit to serving humanity. A lightworker will often feel greater kindness and compassion towards others right from their childhood. So chances are in your childhood, if you were the one rescuing animals or saving animals, you know, bringing them into your home to take care of them, or just helping live in, living beings like in distress, you know, from a really young age, this means you are a light worker, okay? Empaths can be light workers as well. They tend to be sensitive to energies around them. They feel sadness and anguish for the misery in the world. And they will usually choose professions where their empathetic nature can be used to assist those in need. So usually a lot of empaths or light workers that heal, they're in professions such as nursing, therapy, counseling, healing, caregiving, teaching, psychic work, etc. So if you recognize yourself with these qualities or you're in a profession like that, you know, you're likely to be a light worker. Light workers are highly intuitive and driven by their internal guidance. They can often perceive the emotions and needs of others, which enables them to direct their healing powers towards those who need help. They can often chase away negative energies using their own positive healing energies to dispel or transmute negative bad energy.
In order to know if you are a light worker, it takes much intuitive guidance and self-discovery going through your own spiritual awakenings and process or self of self-realization to realize that your mission on earth is to make a positive impact in any way involving healing others, teaching, waking people up, or using your light in some way to benefit helping others. So last but not least, we have a list of different types of light workers. You're going to resonate with at least one of them, or maybe a couple or a few different categories if you are a light worker. Number one, spiritual guides and healers. These light workers are driven towards serving light beings living beings, and the earth through healing using mental, emotional, and spiritual approaches. They are highly perceptive of emotions and feelings of others, and they can alleviate pain within a few minutes of time spent with people or animals. So spiritual guides and healers, they're definitely just, they alleviate pain in any way a few minutes of time spent with people or animals. Number two, psychics and seers. They use their elevated awareness and intuitive powers to see beyond material form and illusion. They can predict future events and put their efforts into promoting world peace and harmony. Number three, grid worker and gatekeepers. The grid worker's purpose is to connect awakened hearts and sacred sites on earth using ley lines. They are advanced light workers who specialize in clearing work. Their main role is to open interdimensional grids to let light and love flow through. Number four, manifestors. These are known as divine blueprint creators. They are an expert at channeling their energy to attract what they want. Their mission is to make the world a peaceful place, enabling them to manifest awakened collective consciousness for humanity. Number five, guides and messengers. And this is what I resonate with as a light worker because I'm a psychic advisor. So the guides and messengers, these are a special type of light workers that communicate messages of peace, love, and spiritual awakening and enlightenment. They are motivational speakers, bloggers, artists, teachers, writers, life coaches who strive to serve humanity through their words, actions, or work. They are the divine messengers. Number six, transmuters. These light workers dispel negativity and they restore neutrality and, ba- and balance back in the world. They can work to help people release or heal negative karma from their ancestral lines. Number seven, dreamers and travelers. These ones strive for new solutions and adventure. They push limitations and manifest light through dream work, creating change along multiple dimensions of earth. They are the explorers, inventors, and pioneers who are the dreamers and travelers of the universe. And last but not least, number eight, adventurers and ascension guides. These are the light workers on the lookout for newer possibilities driven by belief that better things await if one looks beyond the obvious. Along with ascension guides, they work towards creating higher interdimensional possibilities and broadening mankind's vision for the future. Wow, that is amazing, you guys. So there are many different light light workers that are working on planet Earth to help assist humanity and using their light to awaken people to their own inner light on their spiritual journey. And this is absolutely beautiful. This is exactly what we need in this year, 2024, as we are moving into the Aquarian age. So thank you guys so much for joining me on my channel, The Spiritual Alchemist. If you are in need of a psychic reading or you need spiritual guidance, please feel free to reach out to me at one 855 Three five six four thousand, and enter the promo code IRIS seven 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 to receive your special discounted offer on your first reading. You must be at least eighteen years or older to have a psychic reading. 
If you are online, you can also visit me at pathforwardpsychics.com and again, enter that promo code IRIS777 to receive your special discounted offer. I specialize and love relationship readings, money, career, your higher purpose and calling in this lifetime, as well as past life readings. So any area where you need assistance, I would be happy to help you. I look forward to connecting with you and I will see you in my next episode. Thank you so much. Namaste.